What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to make a tweed skirt. During the pandemic, I've been working from home a lot more and I've realized I really hate wearing pants. I never want to wear jeans again. <laughs> and so I got started getting into wearing skirts. They're super comfortable, but they're also professional. So I was looking at tweed skirts online and I ordered a few and I never could find one that fit exactly the way I wanted to. So one day I was walking in Joann's looking at fabric and I came across this beautiful brown like tweed fabric that was very like casual but also could be used in a professional setting. So I fell in love with this fabric and I was like, I can make a skirt out of this. So that's what I did. So the cool thing about Joann's is in addition to having a plethora of fabrics, they also have a variety of magazines that contain designs for clothing that you can actually make. So as a beginner, this is where I'd recommend you should start. So once we got our template, I then measured my waist and I measured the length. The templates do come with set sizes, so small, medium, and large. So I think I went with the medium and made sure that matched up with my dimensions. I put my template on my fabric and then I cut out my pieces of fabric. It's a lot faster if you just go through the process of cutting all your pieces out and then sewing together at once than just cutting and then sewing and then cutting and then sewing. So I highly recommend you cut out all your pieces that you need before moving on to the next step. So you see the material I'm cutting out now is different than the other material. It's because this uh, material is supposed to be my lining. So this is the part that really sits on my waist. So I wanted it to be comfortable and kind of cushy and smooth in case I don't wanna tuck in my shirt, it'd be directly touching my skin on my waist. So I opted for a lining just because it's more comfortable. You can feel free to use the same material that you use to make the rest of the skirt. I just chose to go with a lining. So after I cut out all my pieces, the first part that I sewed together on each individual of my pieces are these little creases I have, which basically, I mean, yeah, they're in the design. I think they give the skirt some texture and some extra detail. You it might be difficult to see in the front, but I'll try to show it to you. But um, in other skirts that probably are less thick material, you can see it kind of folds in some, it's like a little divot. I mean, I am I plan on making another skirt like this and putting maybe buttons here so it's easier to see and a little bit extra design. So I took my chalk and then I followed it down a little, um, put it over the material and then fold it down here so I could trace it on the material. And then I folded it together, I pinched those two pieces together and then sewed them together to make the little triangle shape. After I had my little pinch points put together on my skirt, I then moved on to sewing my zipper to the two back pieces. So when you go lay your zipper on your skirt, um, this is a finished skirt, but I'll show you how I did it. So when I went to lay my zipper on my skirt, you'll see that there's these little frills on the side. It's because when I uh, put the zipper between the skirt, I made sure I folded the skirt, the two edges of the material, I folded them inward and laid the zipper on top of that so I'd have these really neat looking edges here and it's not gonna unravel. The thing about this tweed type material is it really wants to unravel on you. And so um, you, I had to make sure I went really inward with my fabric so there's a lot of room to just backstitch and go back and forth and make sure that my material isn't gonna unravel. Especially around the zipper, you don't want your material to unravel because then the zipper will get caught up in the material and you'll break your zipper. While sewing your zipper, you also wanna ensure you get as close to the teeth as you can without actually hitting the teeth. This makes sure that your zipper is fitting on firmly, but it also is invisible. So you can see the zipper on the inside, but it's pretty well hidden on the outside. Also note, when you go to sew your pieces together, this is super important to remember, you sew right sides together. So you're really sewing inside out if you think about it. So when I went to go sew my front and back together, I sewed them, I laid them flat like this. So the two right sides are together with my wrong sides on the outside. So I sewed them like this. I sewed down from here 
and then I slid down here and then I had basically a skirt put together by that point. So don't make the mistake of putting right sides together. Uh, visually sewing, you kind of do it a little backwards when you put things together. Because um, if you do sew wrong sides together, like how you think you'd wear a skirt, you're gonna end up having your stitches on the outside of the skirt. So just make sure you have right sides together when you sew your pieces together. After putting all three pieces of the skirt together, in addition to adding your zipper, um, the last step that I did was sewing my lining to the skirt. So this is a special type of stitch uh, that was a little confusing at first, but I was able to figure out. So what you wanna do is take the bottom of your lining and sew it to the top of your uh, main piece of fabric. And then, so you're gonna use your sewing machine for that first layer. So after you sew this first top layer of the lining to the skirt, you wanna cut off excess uh, material that's in between the lining and the skirt, so your skirt not waste your skirt isn't bulgy at the waist. You want your skirt to obviously sit flat on you. So you wanna cut off this extra material, making sure you do not cut off your original stitches, but just take off a little bit of extra. You see, I'm not taking a lot off here. Um, I'm taking off just what's necessary so the lining lays flat. So I hand stitched the inside using a whip stitch, also known as an invisible stitch. So I took my needle and I took a little bit of fabric from the inside of the dress and then put it through my lining. And then I kept doing that, taking a little bit of fabric and putting it through the lining, and that's why it's a whip, I guess. With the lining in, my skirt's completely done. That's how easy it is to make this skirt. Most of my time was spent cutting out the material. Sewing the pieces together wasn't a super long process. You can see me starting out really slow in the beginning because I was scared. I didn't want to break a um, sewing machine, and I was just figuring things out, but I started moving faster once I became more comfortable. I definitely recommend you guys trying out making a skirt or you know, any piece of clothing you want, but a skirt is definitely the, probably the easiest piece of clothing you can make. I felt like this process was so easy. I could make a skirt in probably an afternoon. So I could probably make two skirts a day if I really wanted to. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you like this content and you like this video, definitely hit the like button and comment below if you want more content like this. I also make masks in my free time for friends. Masks are like the perfect gift item right now. So if you're interested in that, put it down in the comments. 